Okay, here's a quick video to show you how to get the drivers working properly if you have a Windows 8 laptop and you're using version 11.1 .1 Service Pack 2 of the web edition of the uh, Cordis software. So there's two things you have to do. The first thing is you have to replace the drivers because the ones that come with it aren't going to work. Um, and I use version... I, the driver that works actually is a version uh, from... Cordis or Alteris Cordis 2 version 10, if that makes any sense. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is get the proper drivers in there, and then if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 10, we also have to disable the driver signature enforcement for the whole process to work. Um, so now I'm going to try to do all the steps that you need to do, and the first thing I'm going to do is take the drivers folder uh, that I've brought over here. So if you go to So Altera is going to be installed on C drive. Uh, you'll find the Altera folder and then you'll navigate to 11.1 .1 service pack 2 and then Cordis and then drivers. So this is the drivers that aren't going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename this folder to drivers uh, underscore original because I never like deleting anything and then this is the drivers folder from version 10 so I'm going to drag that in here now this is the drivers folder we're going to use so you're going to have to tell Windows where these drivers are but before we do that we're going to have to uh, disable the driver signature enforcement. So we do that by uh, going to... Where's the thing that gives you the search? No, no, like the, the things that come on here. Do you know how to get that? It's supposed to be on side. Yes, I know it's supposed to be on side. There you go. So you're going to go to Windows 8 and Windows 10. I believe it's the same procedure for Windows 10. Oh, I lost it again. Why did I lose it? Oh, there we go. So you're going to hit Settings. This is uh, gets a little complicated. And then you're going to go to um, Change PC Settings. And then you're going to go to uh, Update and Recovery. Sorry for the wobbly video. And then you're going to go to recovery. And then you're going to go to advanced startup and restart now. Hey, I can see myself. Uh, restart anyways. Okay, so after it restarts, you're going to hit uh, troubleshoot. And then you're going to go to Advanced Options. And then you're going to go to Startup Settings. And then you're going to restart again. Okay, then this is going to come up and you're going to hit 7, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. So just hit the 7 key, that's all you need to do, and it's going to restart. Okay, so now we have to find the Device Manager. So now we're going to Search. Where'd the search screen go? Again? Oh, there we go. So now we need the device manager. Where's device manager? Where's the mouse? Okay, there's device manager, so we need that. Okay, so there's the device manager. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in the DE1 board and turn it on. Okay, it is on. That's fine. So it might start to uh, install the drivers, but if it does, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to close that. If it starts to do it automatically, just shut it down. So what you should notice here under... 
universal serial bus or other devices, you'll see US blaster right here, USB blaster, but it's not going to have the proper drivers. So now we're going to right click and do update driver software. We are going to browse my computer for driver software and then we're going to browse you'll see the default location will be wrong in almost all cases so we're going to go back to where we know it is which we're going to go to uh, nope where do I want to go where do I find the C drive there we go C drive and we're going to go to Altera and we'll go to 11.1 .1 Service Pack 2. We're going to go to Cordis. And see, there's the driver's original folder. There's the one that we added, the new one, drivers. So you're just going to click drivers and just hit OK. You don't need to go any lower than that. So this is what you want to see. See Altera 11.1 .1 Service Pack 2, Cordis drivers. And make sure include subfolders is checked. And then you're going to go next. So now it's going to attempt to install the drivers. Now this window will come up. This is why we disable the driver signature enforcement. If you don't disable the driver signature enforcement, you won't get this option. It will just see that there's no signature and it will kill the installation and you won't be able to install them. By, drive, by disabling the driver signature enforcement, you get the option to install this driver anyways and that's what I'm going to do. And then that's going to take a minute. Oh, there we go. Okay, so driver was successfully installed. So now you should be good to go, and hopefully you should never have to do this again. This is just basically a one-time installation. So now, the first time that you run Quartus, I'm just attempting to start the program now. There we go, it's coming up. Uh, if you run the web edition, it's going to ask you to buy the subscription edition. You don't want to do that. You just want to run the Quartus 2 software. The web edition is the free edition. Now I'm just going to create a very simple project very quickly. Uh, desktop backslash tests and I'm going to call it test and next yes I want to create the folder we don't need to do anything here now the DE1 board I'm using is Cyclone 2 so I'm going to select that and the board is uh, 2C20F34C7 so I'm going to select that next, next, and finish. Do that every time? Yeah, when you start a new project, you'll want to do that every time. Okay, so I'm going to do a new block diagram file. I'm just going to very quickly here uh, do something that I can compile. So I'm going to put in an input. And I'm going to double click here and add output. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. It's not there. Oh, it wasn't there? Okay, hold on. It's there now. Why am I right clicking? Okay, and then one more. I have a bit of a better video on how to do this in a tutorial. Apparently my McAfee protection is ended.
Close. It takes some time to close. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay, so now I'm going to compile this by clicking the little play button. It's been modified. Yes, of course, it's been modified. So I'm going to save that file. So depending on the computer, this takes about 30 seconds to a minute or so. You can see the progress down here. Okay, all done. Click OK. Now you have to get to the pin planner. And the input, I think, is uh, L22. It is one of the switches, and one of the LEDs is R20. So that's good. Now we will compile again. first compile was just basically to add all the notes automatically into the pin planner. If not, you would have to add them all manually. Okay, so now we come to the whole point of doing all this drivers. And when we hit the program, which is this little icon here, the first time you run this, it will say no hardware here, uh, and you're not going to be able to program. If you've done the driver stuff properly, when you hit hardware setup, you'll see USB blaster in this list. So you will have to select it from the drop down menu. And then once you've done that, just hit close. And now you should see the USB blaster in the hardware setup. And now you will be able to program your board just by clicking start. And if I take this window and expand it a little, you will see that the programming was 100% successful. Now if you look on your board, you'll see that the inverter's on the first switch. So if I put that switch up, you'll see the output goes low because the light goes off. And when my input is low, the output is high. So you'll see this light come on. And that's how you install the drivers to make sure that you can program your board.